when you flick the switch or you hook up uh, that electronic device to your uh, mains, it will briefly get all the energy it needs to start up. This tech talk is about inrush current. Um, so we'll explain what is inrush current and how do I calculate the number of LED drivers uh, I can put in my installation and take account of the inrush current. Heino, so first of all, can you briefly explain what's the effect of inrush current? So inrush current is the effect you get when you switch on uh, an electronic device which has the so-called capacitors on the side of the mains. When you flick the switch or you hook up uh, that electronic device to your uh, mains, it will briefly get all the energy it needs to start up. So it's, it's much higher than the nominal? Well, normally it's much higher. Depends on the topology of electronics you use in your driver. Or yeah. in. So when we use a different type of uh, topology than uh, most of other electronic manufacturers, and our inrush is really low. So that means when you hook up our driver to the mains, there is no inrush. So when you have to calculate the amount of circuit breakers you need or for your, uh, for your type of fixture with our driver, you just multiply the amount of energy a driver needs in normal, that you can also use uh, to calculate your multi-circuit breakers. Because what happens if the inrush current is too high? When it's too high, it trips your circuit breakers and everything goes back to dark. Okay, so um, as held that we are communicating the amount of drivers that I can put on my network Correct. Uh, based on the type of circuit breaker that I'm using. Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain that information that we publish in the data sheet? Yes, I can. Uh, in the market you see mostly you see two types of circuit breakers. It's the B type and it's the C type. And give you a rough number when you have a 10 amps uh, B uh, type of circuit breaker. For a certain amount of time you can overload that circuit breaker uh, times 10. And with a C-type, you can overload that circuit breaker times 100. Oh, really? So it's more of the resilient uh, part of how resilient uh, a circuit breaker can be for higher inrush currents. And make sure that every type of electronics has an inrush current. Even a simple incandescent light has an inrush current. So it's not about LED drivers having an inrush current, it's just how electronics or electrons move operates. through yeah. operates exactly this. So here we have a graph. And you see there's no difference between B16 and C16. That means the amount of driver you can load on a B type of uh, circuit breaker is the same as on a C type of circuit breaker. And that really has to do with the calculation is based on uh, the nominal current because the driver of that has no inverse. Correct, it has no inverse. Or it is so low that you can't even give it a number. <laughs> it's really difficult. Okay. Okay, thank you for that explanation, Heino. Thank you.